vet. Uh, ClassicSamurai.net, I think, selling one of their shave vets for, I think it's like $7.99, something like that. Every once in a while, it, you know, it varies in price, but they'll have a, you know, a decent sale when it comes to that sort of thing. From time to time, Walmart, you know, when it comes to the Walmarts around here, shave gear is kind of hit miss. In other words, uh, Primo. This particular one you can you work at, you might get it to lather. It's really just a brushless type soap. It is slick. Just, I mean, this stuff is slick. Uh, I had one point in time was using it as a pre-shave from time to time. I kind of dabble off camera using this as a pre-shave because this stuff is extremely slick. A uh, little goes a long way. Another item that's kind of hit and miss around here is your Aqua Velva 5 in 1. Matter of fact, Aqua Velva, as it goes for the aftershaves, right around the $5 mark. Men in uh, aftershave, right around the $5 mark, you know, sometimes closer to maybe five and a half, as you know, when it comes to men in, as well as, um, oh, there was another one I was going to, oh, Brute, yes. Brute uh, usually runs right around the five, 550 mark. These items, you know, you can find in stores from time to time. And as it goes for an aftershave bomb, this is really nice. Uh, for the price, this is kind of hard to beat, uh, especially just right off the shelf. I saved some of these for the last on purpose. Oh, I should show now that I, I see it here. As it goes for the container, what it looks like as uh, the container size uh, when you order from Vanuelay that gift set, uh, the aftershave bomb, that's the size of the aftershave bomb right there. Uh, saving some of this for, not necessarily best for last, but some of those that I really think if you're going to start out and you don't know where to start, can't go wrong with Parasso. Parasso, this stuff is Good stuff here, in my opinion. This one here is the methylated. This one here is the blue and the shaving cream. You can find these at Marshall's at time. I don't think they got this one. Yes, I did. Ha! Even the, no, in other words, I'm not just blowing smoke. There it is. Marshall's, $4.99. You can pick this up on sale, usually Italian Barber for $4.99. And I've also found, not that I have a sticker on this one, I also found this at Marshall's for $4.99. Uh, this is, this, Parasso is really a good good place to start. If you don't know where else to start, Parasso is a good place to start. And from time to time, I think I've got, what was it? I think I picked up three tubes of palm olive shaving cream. Three for 12 bucks, I think is what I ordered off of eBay a while back. CVS. I have picked up, they were, I uh, had some on sale, uh, the beard balm, don't have it handy, uh, but I do have the shaving soap, $2.95 for the shaving soap. I remember when this first came out, it was a lot more expensive than that. $2.95 for the Club Man shaving soap. That, that's, that was a fantastic find. So, getting closer to the end of this, here's my son's Wilkinson Sword. Picked this up for I think a buck ninety nine. You can pick these up pretty cheap sometimes. I think the normal price is anywhere from seven to ten bucks for it though. It was a Black Friday sale when I picked up this one here. I need to get one myself. I've yet to shave with one of those. Well, I got stuff everywhere. My shave kit. What do I have in my shave kit? This is the shave kit I've got here. And what do I have in there that I use for a travel bowl? is a salsa bowl. Now there's different versions of a salsa bowl that uh, may or may not appeal to you. This one here is very smooth on the inside. This is the one I use. The one I got set aside for my son that he uses is textured on the inside. I can't remember which one's which. I think I may have paid 50 cents for his and a buck 25 for mine. And uh, I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason why I got that one. But a salsa bowl works just fine for a lathering. I went to the thrift stores. I've got some thrift store finds over here. Sarabachi bowl for a buck. My favorite one is this red one I got set over here. Uh, you see in videos from time to time. It, it's just an awesome find. Thrift stores are great to find. Uh, shaving bowls, 
inexpensive like you're paying a buck for it and if you ever watch paul h his red bull it was just something he had laying around in the house it wasn't anything special he went out and bought he just you know had it laying around and uh, that's what he used for a shaving bowl doesn't have to be expensive so what do i got my shave gear here this is one of those that i picked up i think like say it's alan block black friday sale picked up four of them i think each of them were like 295 or something like that nice travel container comes off just you know pretty easy it's it's stuck on there pretty good but you know allen block easy to use that's what i'm going to be using today for my shave got this allen block here going to be using my omega s brush it's got a synthetic knot in other words and matter of fact i'm going to get this stuff situated here um here's the nivea yeah because i put it in there of course my travel container is talking about as it goes for nivea cream really good for the face if you get an, end up with a rough shave samples you most of the time uh you'll get a sample from uh, the modern man and the sample could be it varies it could be razor blades it could be aftershave balm it's all over the place put that in my uh, shave kit and i purposely ordered these this particular way my my very first wee she i ordered was a long handle and i pipped it to one of the kids and uh I also have a black PVD. PVD is the the uh, process they use to put the color on the on the shaver. But I ordered these two shavers just because I plan on putting them in my shave kit, and I ordered them this way because they're in a container. And each one of these containers, I have two different versions of the Wishies. Got them for right at ten bucks a piece. This one here, I thought was kind of cool looking. It's a matte gold. Twist to open. These are pretty good little shavers and at 10 bucks they're kind of hard to beat. Um, very, just very inexpensive. It's in a travel case, help protect it. And plus in the travel case, if it's really an issue, it also has a mirror. This one here is the chrome version. It came with some blades also, which I've got stored in there. This is the one I'm gonna be using today. Wishi, actually some pretty nice shavers, especially for the price. Um, like I say, I keep samples in there. It's a good place, you know, put some of those sort of things, travel with uh, uh, some great stuff, especially if you get uh, samples from uh, uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I put samples in there too. Some other hardware, different, oh, I should mention this one too. As it goes for full price, something that's uh, closer to being on the inexpensive line, sometimes I think 10, 12 bucks, something like that. Uh, Victory shaving. Get four ounces of soap and it's filled to the top. Uh, you know, it's a tin can with a screw top lid. Uh, just a really nice product in my opinion. It's got a story in behind it. Keeps the, the also on the back it tells you um, it tells you what the scents are. In other words, this one here is tobacco, mocha, and mint. Uh, I've got several of these. I really like this soap. Is that also great for if you plan on traveling? and want something a little bit smaller in a container. This one here, four ounces in a small container. Some more blades I picked up on the cheap. Um, I think, like I say, I think it was, um, what was it, 200 for 11.95, something like that. Treat silvers. You get some great bargains when it comes to these sort of things. What I had done a while back is I had ordered a shaver, <clears throat> excuse me, from Razor Rock, and you can get heads for, for your handle. So in other words, if you order a razor like this one here, it resembles or patterns itself after a vintage Gillette head, Gillette Tech in other words, covers both ends. You've already got a handle, so you can order the heads. The handle work with all the heads. For instance, this one here is the German 37. It's a slant. It'll work with this handle that you can get from Razor Rock. Matter of fact, that head that I just showed and this handle, I think was like, what, $7.99, inexpensive. There you go. Now you got a slant. All you did was buy the head, still using the same handle. And there's an open comb. And I think it's referred to as a short open comb. And uh, handle screws right on there. There you go. 
and you can, and all you're buying is the base plate and the cap, in other words, the head, and you've already got your uh, handle. Easy storage. Uh, Maggers does the same thing. Speaking of Maggers, yeah, I've, I've got some good steels. I don't have it laying out. I forgot to. I picked up a, a, a Bally. I think it's a 177. It's a twist to open for $2.50. Got this one here. Like I mentioned, you know, I got an AliExpress. Very inexpensive. Buck ninety nine when I got it back then. This one here, you can get a Modern Man for fourteen ninety five. This is the Parker forty eight R, my very first razor that I ever got and paid twice as much for it. But you can get a brand new one from uh, Modern Man. Uh, here's another one of those uh, EB finds. It's not in the best of shape. It's a Schick Chrono. Works just fine. It's just that the you know the coating's gone. It's not near as shiny or anything like that that it used to be. But it works just fine. Shaves just fine. Awesome shaver. I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already put a hot towel to the face this morning a while back. How far am I into this? Oh my. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I put a Paraso pre-shave this morning. That's what I use this morning as my pre-shave. The, uh, like I say, the brush I'm going to be using over here is the, uh, when I wet my face. I'm uh, going to be using my synthetic brush. When it comes to synthetic brushes, I, I just warm them up. You don't necessarily soak them. They don't really absorb water, but they do hold water in between. And um, like I said, I'm going to be using Classic by John. As it goes for the smaller than not, usually it, you don't use quite as much shaving cream. Something to think about when you're buying uh, your brushes, working on a, uh, on a budget. It is something to consider that you, uh, if you're trying to make things stretch the smaller knot on your brush, the, the further your soap will go. Because the soap, or whether it's synthetic or whether it's a natural bristle, it's going to, it's going to hold your water in your lather. And uh, the smaller knot, the less lather it'll hold, which means it'll lather up somewhat easier. I hope this was a, I uh, guess you might say, quite of an experience as it goes for shave gear some thought what it would take it doesn't cost a whole lot to get started if you really want to get started you don't have to spend a whole lot of money you can get shavers like I say for like the one I got a Black Friday from I was really shocked at the price get that uh, Bally twist to open two dollars and fifty cents a while back on the uh, AliExpress I think the going price now is Two ninety nine for that Gillette three piece. Just take a little bit more water than what I anticipated. I can smell it. Oh, speaking of that, I've been for the past what two weeks I've been using unscented soap. It seems like it's been a month already. Uh, really hard for somebody that's used to using a uh, scented soap, and you go into an unscented soap. Been unscented for two weeks going into three weeks now and definitely missing the scented so i'm going to see if i can't make this work didn't realize that was this long well this is a pretty lengthy video <laughs> i don't know if i made one this long in a while <laughs> long conversation huh we'll go ahead and get started here i still need to put the blade in the my derby blade i'm going to be using a derby blade in my wee sheet it's been a while This is a pretty nice scent. It does have a, if you didn't notice, it does say on there that it's got tea tree oil on there. So that might be something you might want to consider if you're looking at getting one of these. Comes by the way of India, by the way, if that matters. And to a certain extent, it probably will matter. And the reason why I say that is because the virus has really disrupted the supply chain when it comes to much of anything as far as that goes. You'll notice some shave gear is uh, pretty much a non-existent in some areas because you know the supply chain has been been interrupted which is pretty you know pretty unfortunate but when something like this when it happens you know it's going to happen. Uh, here's my blade. Derby Extra. As it goes for Derby Blades, Derby Blades work okay for me and some shavers 
not quite as well as some others, but um, it's been a while and I don't remember if I've actually used a derby blade in a Wishi. I know I've used a feather. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get started. And just right off the bat, one thing I do notice that maybe some is that there's some feedback. Almost a singing. <laughs> I hope this helps somebody that's looking to get started in a uh, budget side of shave gear. You can kind of tell there's quite a variety there. There's a lot more out there. I just, I stopped putting it in my bucket, trying to get it all sorted out. There's a lot of different places you can go either right there at the store, hopefully in the store. I know here locally, there's really not a whole lot to be choosing from. So you are limited in what's in the store, even at Walmart. And as goes for the quality of shaves, hopefully by the end of this shave, you'll be able to see, I think I'm gonna have to I say speed things up a little bit. I didn't realize I was running this long. Usually I do put a little water in between each lather, I might do on the against the grain pass. But hopefully that's enough information for somebody to decide whether they want to go on the budget route or not or what it takes to get quality quality items on a budget. It can be done. One of the keys is don't pay full price. Unless it's already reasonably priced. Fake is facing in some cases when it's already down around two bucks, it's kind of hard to make it much cheaper. Yeah, I think the dogs are a little irritated about something. Well, I'm kind of surprised I made it this far without the dogs barking. Like I said, I don't think I've made a video this long before. We'll see how it turns out. It may get cut off in the middle somewhere, I don't know. Hope not. May have to do a, like I've seen from time to time, may have to do a part one and a part two, just to upload it, just however it, uh, <laughs> it gets cut off. I had this problem with this particular uh, video camera. Depending on what level you're recording it at, it will cut it off and create another file and then I have a heck of a time trying to figure out how to get the two files to work together. They don't like playing well together. So the easiest way to go about it is doing, doing two videos. As goes for video editing equipment, I don't use any. What you see is what you get. It's all straight up just like, just like it was live. That's the reason why you get the barking dogs, right? <laughs> I don't know, it may be kind of hard to tell on camera, but for the most part, this uh, shave is going rather well. I'll probably go ahead and cut it a little bit short. In other words, not show the uh, aftershave portion of it. I think it might be important to see the um, Allen Bark block part of it because uh, somebody's probably going to want to see that one in action with that little handle there at the bottom of the. Uh, Allen block makes it easy to hang on to. It's small, comes with a cap, easy to travel with, and the container is sturdy enough. Should be able to handle some bumps along the way. DE shaving quick and easy. <laughs> like I say, there's a little bit of feedback with this one here. I have used a Wishi with a feather blade, my black one, same size as this one. Uh, very close, smooth shave. Can't complain. 10 bucks for the shaver. What? Two bucks for the shaving cream. Allen block is what, 295 
blade, what, maybe five cents. Aftershave, $1.95. Shave bowl, what, what was it, a buck and a quarter maybe. You can probably find them, like I say, found the, my son's on clearance for, um, for 50 cents. <laughs> yes, it's easy to find good shave gear. On the cheap blades, aftershave, aftershave balm. You just have to look. It takes a bit more effort. In a way, I kind of feel like it's kind of like cheating uh, when it comes to um, buying the matching aftershave <laughs> to go with the soap. I think I will go ahead and use the aftershave. I think I'm going to go ahead and, you know, it's been a while, so I think I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go with the Bay Rum. See what the wife says when I come out of the bathroom. Like I say, dollar ninety-five, Atlanta Barber. Great buy. Ordering online, I would. Uh, <laughs> not that I put my uh, leftover lunch money or my lunch money in a coffee can in hopes that my wife doesn't find my uh, shave gear money, but at any rate, <laughs> I do. I do work out on, on a budget. May not seem like it, but face it. It takes a while to scour to find all these nifty bargains like this and um, hopefully like I say putting links on videos and whatnot will help folks out look at that quick easy easy going shave I had a great time doing this hope you enjoyed it Manny hope everything's going well with you I know you're going through a tough time maybe you see some of this and thought I lost my marbles hope everybody stay safe stay healthy and smooth shades to you